Good morning, YouTube. Happy Saturday morning. It's a chilly Saturday morning here in Northwest Ohio. It's the day before Super Bowl. So yesterday, on Friday, I decided to go pick up a few things from um, Gordon Food Service Store. Uh, it used to be called Gordon Food Service, and I think now they're trying to go more towards Gordon Food Store. Uh, so the public knows that it's not just for restaurants. Um, but anyway, it's, you know, it's one of those places you can pick up restaurant style um, or restaurant quantity items, large packages, um, et cetera, et cetera. So um, I went ahead and went over there just for Super Bowl. I wanted to pick up a packet of frozen meatballs and uh, ended up <laughs> coming home with a few more things. Uh, total spent was $72.77, which I didn't think was all that bad. I actually got a f good number of these items on sale, and a lot of these items I'm going to use for the upcoming week or weeks for uh, different meals, etc. So um, I went ahead and got the fully cooked meatballs. They were on sale for $9.99, and that's a good price because I believe they're normally about $14.99, and this is a... Um, five pound package so we'll use some of them tomorrow for Super Bowl Sunday I've got some frozen sauce that's in the freezer I've got uh, some grape jelly that's been in the freezer for a couple years throw that into the sauce um, in the crock pot and it'll be a good appetizer and uh, another item that we really like now let me explain about hot dogs not a big fan of hot dogs um, my kids love them of course I'm not a big fan. I know when my dad was, uh, when I was a teenager, my dad used to work for Eckrich. And um, he would come home and say that they, one of the ingredients in hot dogs was earthel bait. So, of course, when I was in high school, earthel bait equaled earthworms in my mind. So, uh, for many, many years, I went on a boycott and would not eat hot dogs because I believed that they had earthworms in them. True or not, I don't know. Um, but I have gotten over that a little bit more. However, I still do prefer um, the full... Oh, look at that. My kids have already gotten into the hot dogs. Lovely. Thanks, guys. <laughs> They've already found the hot dogs. <laughs> anyway, um, so uh, beef franks. I don't mind beef franks. They've, uh, they actually do have beef in them and not uh, chicken parts and all that other crap. So um, it's not too bad as far as the ingredients go in my mind. Um, I'm glad, uh, I'm not crazy about them having sugar in them, but I'd rather see sugar than high fructose corn syrup. So anyway, um, this, was a, this was on sale too. I actually got these for $9.99 and that's um, a five pound package. So what I usually do is I will break this out into uh, several different packages of eight or ten and uh, we'll have them if we need a quick emergency meal or if we're having chili we'll have chili dogs the kids come home from school or uh, practice or work and uh, they can pop them in the microwave real quick and uh, have a quick little snack so anyway um, these are not for Super Bowl uh, but at that price I just couldn't pass them up also um, romaine hearts which I thought was a pretty good deal and uh, they are out of, they're from California, so I'm glad to see that they weren't trucked in from um, outside of the U.S., um, but they were also on sale. I got that package for $4, so my plan with the Romaine Hearts is uh, taco salad, one of my favorites. So this upcoming week, I've been really craving salads. I'm getting kind of tired of these heavy meals that we were having, although they were good comfort meals during the pantry challenge. Um, I'm ready to have some more salads, so uh, we'll have some taco salad and some side salads in the um, next week, and then that should last up into the upcoming week also. And then uh, I hadn't replenished any of my noodles for a long time. I think it's been since fall, probably, since I have um, done a mass replenishment of my my noodles, and uh, I really do prefer the GFS brand medium seashell. Um, five pounds and the same with the uh, rotini that's a five pound packet and uh, that is the cavatappi that's one of my favorites that's a little more of a premium noodle I really do love having that with my homemade mac and cheese and um, so the seashell was uh, $6.29 for a five pound packet 
The Rotini was $6.29 also for five pounds. And the Cavatappi, um, two and a half pound packet for $3.99. So I will uh, gladly replenish my noodles. It's been a while since I've done that. Also for Super Bowl Sunday, um, I'll pull out some of the beef stick that we had made from our beef steers. And uh, we'll serve those with some sliced cheese and some crackers. And I think the cheese also might have been on sale. Uh, I got the cheddar for $5.49. Yeah, that might not have been on sale. But that's a one and a half pound packet, one pound eight ounces actually, for um, $5.49. I didn't think that was all that bad compared to what I pay at the deli for that. And then for the provolone, that ended up being um, same price, $5.49. And same amount, one pound, eight ounces. Um, so that's not too bad because I can rarely ever find these two cheeses at the deli for less than $7.99 a pound, and that's pretty bad. So these are already pre-sliced. Um, pretty happy with that pricing. Uh, also, we've got a couple dishes I've got planned for Super Bowl that need uh, cream cheese. So I found this six pack also on sale for um, $6.99. So six pack for $6.99. And what I don't use, I will stick in the freezer, thanks to Mandy over at More to Life. I have now learned that I can freeze cream cheese. That's really exciting. Also, uh, for supper today, I've got uh, braided pizza planned, and um, I'll shoot you some pictures of that. But I thought uh, this is a good deal. I've got these packages here, four ounces each, reduced down to buck forty-nine. Asiago, Fontina, Parmesan, and provolone. So that'd be great. I also had to replenish my liquid smoke, and I was a little nervous uh, buying it there at Gordon Foods. Sometimes something like this can be a little overpriced, but I paid $2.29, and I thought that was probably comparable to what I would pay for it at Kroger. Um, also for Super Bowl Sunday, we got a couple different dishes we're going to need crackers for, and uh, this was on sale, so I was really happy with this. This is um, 10 packs, and uh, it's two pounds of crackers. I got it for $4.99. And uh, that's a really good deal. I'm really happy about that price. And uh, Doritos, our favorite. So we'll kind of split that bag in half, and we'll use half at the uh, for Super Bowl just to munch on, and the other half on our taco salad. And those were actually on sale too. And those were, I think, $3.99. I don't see it right here on my my. Uh, yeah, I know I got those for $3.99. Yep, $3.99. So anyway. Um, all total, the seventy-two seventy-seven from Gordon Food Service. Pretty happy with that, and those are my Super Bowl plans.